I'm infiltrating this one's natural habitat. Just look at her. Today I'm going to be checking out the Garnier hair food. I have the repairing papaya variant. I'm going to take you through my wash day. I'm going to share my initial thoughts and we're going to talk a little bit about the ingredients. I want to talk about my initial opinion about the product even before I picked it up. We all know that Garnier is a drugstore brand. And since it's such a large brand, obviously their SKUs are higher. And so they can totally afford to make a product budget friendly. We also know that women pay a premium for products. The same goes for curly hair products. Because curly hair is such a buzzword these days and because brands want to jump on the curly bandwagon, we have seen that a lot of products hit the market at a price that are way higher. And a lot of the times it's understandable because most of these brands have started as curly brands. And when you've just started, you're an indie brand, your SKUs are lower, your numbers are lower, you're a startup, obviously the cost of production will be much higher. But when we're talking about a large brand like Garnier, things change. All of this to say that when I first saw this product and I saw that it was priced at 750 rupees, my perception of it was clouded and I wasn't feeling too comfortable. But then recently I've been getting a few requests and some of you really want me to try out the product. So I said, okay, let me check it out. I looked on Amazon and it retailed for 471 rupees. So I was like, whoa, hang on. There's a huge difference between 750 and 471. So I was like, okay, that's more like it. Let me pick this up. So I picked up the repairing papaya variant because obviously when you hear the word repairing, right, you think of damage. And since my hair is damaged, I felt like maybe this would be like the thickest, most creamy, most luxurious mask and best suited to my hair. That is a total presumption on my end. But yeah, that's why I picked this up over the other masks that they had. I picked up the product and the moment I received it, I did like a complete 180 when it came to my thought processes. This is a huge tub. So the standard size for a hair mask is around 200 grams. This is 390 grams and I spent 471 rupees for it. If I had to compare this to any other hair mask or leave-in conditioner or conditioner, I'm getting double the amount, which means that for 200 grams of this product, you'd spend around 230 rupees. And so that's an amazing deal. So my opinion is to definitely not pay 750 rupees for this. Wait for it to be on sale. Check it out on Amazon. The moment you see that this is retailing for 471 rupees, that is when you pick this up because that way you're getting like a super sweet deal that you should definitely not miss out on. Quite literally, the moment you receive this product and if you already have other masks at home, you will be astounded at the sheer size of this. So now the USP of this product is that you can use it as a leave-in conditioner, you can use it as a conditioner and you can also use it as a hair mask to deep condition with. So of course today I tried it in all three ways. So this is definitely a bang for your buck, but how does it perform? To answer that, I'm going to take you through my wash day. The first thing that I did today was clarify. I use the Love Beauty Planet shampoo. And usually when I clarify my hair, I clarify my entire lengths. I apply shampoo from the tip to the ends and I make sure to wash all of the product buildup off my hair. Then I use the Garnier Hair Food as a conditioner. I used a little bit, separated my hair in two, applied using praying hands and roping. And then I started detangling. The slip was pretty nice. I'm not going to say that it was completely mind-blowing and off the chain. But yeah, it has decent, nice slip. And it was totally sufficient to detangle my hair with. I wrung out some of the hair from my lengths because obviously when you're using conditioner and you're detangling, generally your hair is sopping wet, right? So I removed some of the excess water. I wrung my hair out. Then I applied a little more of the hair food to use it as a deep conditioner. And I did my two-strand twist. I clipped my hair up, I wore my heat cap and I kept it on for 10 minutes. So on the tub, it says leave on for one minute, but this is the second time that I'm using it. And the first time I left it on for one minute, it didn't do much as in I didn't really get that benefit of deep conditioning. And so I gave it 10 minutes instead. Then after that, I washed my hair thoroughly and then I started styling. This is the second time I've used this product as a leave-in conditioner and the last time I made some mistakes. And so this time I was super careful about the amount that I was using. I worked in four sections. 
applied the product using praying hands and roping. Then I went in with gel, applied using praying hands and roping. Then with a comb, I created my curl clumps. Then I scrunched my hair. Once I was done styling all of the sections, I scrunched from side to side and then I scrunched upside down. I micro plop and then I plopped. As you can see, I was in my hall room. I scrunched out the crunch. It was so hot there. I started sweating profusely. It was absolute agony. I could not bear to film there. And so I had to take my entire setup and then move here. So just to give you an idea, I think I started SOTCing at six o'clock. Right now, it's 10 o'clock. So it's taken me hours to complete this setup. And so for the ridiculous amount of effort and the pains that I've taken to film this video itself, I think, I genuinely think I deserve a thumbs up. So, all right, as you can see, the results, I think there's a very decent amount of volume and the shrinkage is also decent. I'm not gonna say that I'm completely mind blown by the shrinkage, but I think that it's done a fairly nice job. My hair feels very light. It doesn't feel heavy at all, but it also feels very moisturized. All right, so now let me talk to you about my thoughts about this as a conditioner. I think as a conditioner, it's not a super light conditioner. It's not a super heavy conditioner. It's right in between. So in that sense, I feel like this product is going to suit a lot of people. Now, as a deep conditioner, once again, it is not super light. It's not super heavy. And for those reasons, again, I feel like this is going to suit a lot of different hair types. Usually, whenever I share my opinions about any leave-in product, I always assign it a number on my scale. I feel like this is in between Ashpa and Curl Up. So it's not like a 3, 3.5 and it's not a 2.5 either. I feel like it's right in between. So on my hair, it definitely gave me more shrinkage then Ashpa tends to give me. Shrinkage wise, I feel like this gives me more shrinkage than the curl up and more shrinkage than the Ashpa. But also keep in mind that what you're seeing over here is at least four hours post me SOTCing. Right after I SOTCed, my hair was super drenched. When I was attempting to film in my living room, I styled my hair, I dried my hair completely. Then I started sweating profusely where my entire face, my scalp, everything was drenched. And right now, again, my hair is completely dry. My scalp is also completely dry. So I was expecting this to be like a hot mess result wise. But as you can see, it completely held up and there isn't too much extra frizz either. So that way, I'm like additionally impressed with the product. Based on the two times that I've tried it, my opinion is that I'm definitely going to continue to use this as a leave-in conditioner because that is the format in which I was most impressed by the product. I'll definitely pair this up with a heavier mask and then use this as a leave-in and I'll update the description once I've used this several times. This is footage from my next wash day. This is day four. For this wash day, I use the Just Herb Shiroli Pump hair mask and then I use the Garnier hair food as a leave-in conditioner. As you can see, the definition that I've gotten is much better. The shrinkage is also much better. Even though this is footage of day four and you can't really compare it to day one, I still think that you can see the definition very clearly in this footage. Needless to say that in future when I use this product, I'll definitely use it with the Shiroli Pam hair mask because as you can see, the results that I got are so much better. So now let's go through the ingredients of the product. Another thing that I forgot to mention, the mask smells divine. It smells like papaya. It has a very natural fragrance. And the product also claims to be 98% natural origin. So that was pretty much it for this video. If you're looking for more curly brand reviews, then feel free to check out these videos right here.